like, subscribe, and click on the notification button so that once powerful co-teaching videos like this drop, you'll be among the first to get it. Okay, I want to believe you've already subscribed to this channel. I want to believe that you've already clicked on the notification button so that anytime massive value like this drop, you'll be among the first to get it. I'll also like you to share it with family and friends so that they'll be part of those getting value just like yourself. And I want to let you know that if you have any complex situation, anything that has to do with life, Drop it in the comment section and I promise you in a short while you're going to see how that will be simplified for you and if that person has seen that as a very complex situation. Hello, I celebrate you for being here today. I'm sure you're one of those that have subscribed to this channel and we're going into a very special series called A Thousand Seconds. In A Thousand Seconds, we're going to dissect and make simple anything that is very complex and today we're going to be looking at something very very special in the lives of people we'll call it the new year resolutions which a lot of people struggle with every single year and that is why we are here today to show you how you can dribble through your new year resolutions and get the expected result in fact we're going to be looking at why you have been failing in achieving your new year resolutions and that is what we do. We simplify the complex, okay? So today, I want you to pay close attention to why people fail in their New Year resolutions. So the question is, what is New Year resolution? What are New Year resolutions that people struggle with and yet they fail? Is New Year resolution supposed to come once in a year at the end of the year, December, and then by January, people are talking about their New Year resolutions? Or is this something that should come immediately after your birthday because you have just entered a new year? So let us understand this clearly. There are six areas of resolution. Whether you're celebrating your birthday or you're celebrating at the end of the year to enter a new year by general terms, we have six areas you need to work on. We have career, we have personal growth, we have relationship, we have financial, we have hobbies, and we have health and fitness. Now, why am I taking you, taking you through all of this? I want you to understand what the resolution is all about before we now talk about why you have been failing in your resolutions because a lot of people get it wrong right from having their resolutions, okay? So, when we talk about career, it's not just about, you know, studying the university, obtaining the PhD and all of that. No, we are talking about getting a promotion. A lot of people, you know, they think about their job, they think about their work, their occupation. They don't even understand what a career is. But I want to let you know that irrespective of what you're doing, you can turn it into a career. You can talk about how to promote yourself in that career, in that thing you're doing. Change careers. Sometimes you might be in the wrong position, you might be in the wrong place. You have to use this moment to calculate, to check, am I in the right place or in the wrong place? Okay, then you start your own business, irrespective of how fine your office is, irrespective of how good your boss is. I want to let you know that until you start your own business, you will continue to struggle in many aspects of life. I don't want to talk about your finances. I, want to, I don't want to talk about your, you know, your health. I don't want to talk about your time freedom. But that is one of the things you need to start working towards. Even if you can't work towards it in the next one year, you can have a five years plan to tell yourself in the next five years, this is what I should be doing for myself. Now, invest in education. Now, sometimes I find it difficult to use the word education. You know why? Because it still boils down to people thinking about the four walls of a learning environment. So I prefer to say invest in learning. In learning what? In what matters to you? In something related to your career, you need to work towards that. Invest yourself to learn more, no matter what it takes, okay? Become more organized. A lot of people lose value while they are doing whatever they are doing because they are not organized. People don't see them as people to trust. They don't see them as people to hand over certain things to. So, but when you become more organized, you attract more favor to yourself, okay? Take on a special project. Now, when we talk about special projects, it's not about, you know, setting up a very gigantic house, you know, setting up a very gigantic office, setting up a very gigantic shop and all of that. No, when we say special, tell yourself, this is my target for the year, and then you work towards it. Make sure it aligns with your career. Now, establish work-life balance. When we talk about work-life balance, you know, life is too short. 
Okay, so while you're working and working, ask yourself, how is my life aligning with my career? And that is very, very important, okay? So this is about career. Now, when we move into personal growth, you know, a lot of people, they don't understand when we talk about personal growth. It's not the physical growth. We're talking about you as a person. Now, you need to read more books. I don't know how you want to do it. If you can't read, there are audios you can listen. Make time for, you know, self-care. Take care of yourself. Start a journal. Okay, listen to podcasts. You need to become more confident in yourself, especially looking at what you're doing. Okay, you need to have what we call social media detox. This will help you to, you know, focus on what you're doing and achieve goals. Stick to your resolutions. Don't try to add things or remove things. Concentrate on that thing you've already built to say, this is what I want to achieve. Okay? The next thing is relationship. I want to break this down before we go into reasons why you fail in achieving your resolutions. So the next thing is relationship. Now, when we talk about relationship, I want you to understand that there are things that is a must do. One of them is you need to create meaningful connections. The word there is meaningful. So, so you need to be conscious of the kind of connections you make. Now, let's go down so that you will see exactly what I'm saying. Step outside your comfort zone. There are people around you that makes you to be so comfortable at that level. Okay, number three says set boundaries. This is where it connects with the first one. Create meaningful connection, set boundaries. Those persons who are not aligning with you, you need to set a boundary. I say this is the bottom line. This is where you can stop so that I can move ahead. You can't continue with me on this journey, okay? Make time for family and friends. This is important. It's a way of relating with your family and friends. Sometimes, even if they don't like what you do, at some point, you have to, you know, Excuse those things and have time for them. Plan a vacation. You know, when we talk about vacation, some persons are thinking of countries to visit, places to go. Sometimes you don't need to spend that much. You can take your family, take yourself to a very special place, relax, you know, have fun, and that gives you a very good relationship with yourself and with everybody around you. So let go of toxic people, people who don't appreciate you for who you are. Let them go. And then focus on your growth, okay? Connect with old friends. These are people who really appreciate you, who understand you, who have been with you all the time. Probably your business or your work have kept them at a distance. This is a moment to get closer to them, okay? Now, the next thing we'll be talking about is what we call financial. Now, a lot of people, when you talk about New Year resolution, this is the first thing that comes to their mind, financial. But I want to let you know that there is a system to this. You need to create a budget. You need to save more money. You need to invest more money. You need to make a wish list. You need to start a side hustle. You need to pay off your debts. You need to adapt an abundant mindset. Now, when you go through all of this, you understand that it's not just about saying, I want to make more money. I want to save more money. There are things, the nitty gritties of achieving this goal must be implemented. Then the next thing we'll talk about hobbies. Well, a lot of people have hobbies. In fact, I will not say few. Everybody should have a hobby. There's something that takes your, you know, your breath away. So you need to discover these things and work to learn a new one. Okay. If your own hobby is not giving you the excitement that it should, then learn a new one. Share your gifts with the world. Wow, I love this so much because sharing your gift to the world will make you to find yourself in a community of people who appreciate you for who you are. You begin to see people who are just like you, okay? Perfect your craft. It's about your good in the area of hobbies. And you look at the fifth one, monetize your hobby. Wow. Now, it means that by the time, let's look at the process. By the time you go through this process, you see, you become so good in your community that you have perfected your craft and then you can monetize it. Okay, so I left system seven open for you to add what you want. Okay, then we have health and fitness. When you talk about health and fitness, one, very, very important, eat more healthy. Exercise regularly. Try meditation. I love this so much. Okay. Be mindful of what you are doing and what you are eating. Try meal planning. Try your meal. Drink more water. Stick to a sleep schedule. This will help you to achieve more. You know, we have only 24 hours in a day. And if you place more on this, of course, it's going to affect your goal. 
like, subscribe, and click on the notification button so that once powerful co-teaching videos like this drop, you'll be among the first to get it. Now, let's go straight into why you do not achieve your resolutions. Number one, lack of plan. <laughs> you know, there's a common saying that if you don't plan to succeed, you have automatically planned to fail. Very, very simple. So you must have a very concise plan. Okay, so make sure that your plan is well strategic. You can collaborate with people. You have a very strategic objective and then you go into action. Okay, now the second reason why you don't achieve your resolution is lack of commitment. You know, a lot of people design their plan. Oh, this is what I want to achieve. I will do this. I will do that. <laughs> Making a plan and putting it into practice, that is what commitment is all about. So for you to make that plan and you don't put it into practice, you have not committed to it. So you will fail in your resolution. Okay. Now, the next thing is lack of motivation. If you don't motivate yourself, nobody will motivate you. So find a way, push harder than yesterday if you want a different tomorrow. Okay. So you want something better for yourself in the, along the year. You cannot continue to repeat the same system you've done in the past. I didn't give you the better result. Okay, so then the next thing is having unrealistic goal. How can you be someone who is struggling to, you know, make a hundred thousand a month, and then you tell yourself, 2024, 2025, 2026, I'm going to be making one million naira every single day. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so ridiculous. It's unrealistic. It's like saying that this boy here is going to lift this. It's an unrealistic goal. So you need to plan and have a realistic goal. Okay. Now, the next thing, which is the biggest of them all, lack of discipline. Now, without discipline, you can't even achieve all the first four. You will have no plan. You will have no commitment. There is no motivation. You have a lot of unrealistic goal that you are not committed to achieve. So discipline is the only thing that can move you from where you are to where your goals are. Without discipline, there is no result. You can't achieve your new year resolution. Okay? So I want you to know that um, there's something happening in our world very, very fast. Are you aware? The average person has 7.6 active social media accounts. Now, according to a global perspective, the average individual has 8.4 social media accounts. Around 7 in 10 Americans use social media. There are 4.62 billion social media users worldwide. The average person uses 7.5 social media platforms. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going through this directly as sourced online. Okay. Now, look at this critically. You begin to understand why you are even having a lot of distractions. Okay. This is what happens with your smartphone. Now, are you aware? that the average time spent online by internet users worldwide varies depending on the year and the source. Now, in 2022, internet users worldwide spend an average of 399.5 minutes every single day online. Now, we also observed, according to the Digital 2019 report of Hot Suit and We Are Social, the average internet user spent more than a quarter of their life on the World Wide Web or an average of 6 hours 42 minutes each day. What does this mean? It means that if you divide the day into four, they use one part on social. Now, this is not a problem for me. It is not at all. I want you to get this right. If you have a smartphone, if you go online, there are four things you're doing. No, not really four things. You're doing one of the four things. You see that you're lying, or you are there for entertainment, or you're there to make money, or all of the above. And that is the one I love so much. Be there to learn, entertain yourself, and make money. Okay? So I want to be sure that we actually enjoy this section. And like I said, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you've subscribed already, go ahead, share this for family and friends to have a better plan for the new year. Have an amazing new year resolution and stick to it. Like I said before, if you have any challenge, if you have anything that is so complex around you about life, 
please drop it in the comment section. I will visit that and make sure that you have it simplified because that is what we are known for. We simplify the complex situation. So we simplify it for you and for anyone that can come across it. See you. Like, subscribe, and click on the notification button so that once powerful co-teaching videos like this drop, you'll be among the first to get it.